Oh my, what is up, you crazy electricians and electrical contractors? That's right, you are tuning in to the 360 Electrician Podcast. I am your host. If this is the first time meeting, my name is Jeff, the 360 Electrician, and I've been an electrical contractor for over 16 years and in the trade for, she is since 1991. You figure that out and tell me how old I am. But I started this podcast and the YouTube channel, The 360 Electrician, to help you electricians level up and become electrical contractors and for electrical contractors that are listening out there to start making real money and live the lifestyle that you want to live. How am I going to do that? Well, you can take me as a little bit of an example. I am currently coming to you live from our YouTube studios here in Missoula, Montana, just south. And I run a mid-size brick and mortar electrical contracting company that is busier than heck. And it is always busier than heck. I don't rely on the economy uh, for the past 16 years. And so uh, I decided to take my blessings. I've been blessed. God's blessed me in many, many ways that I can live here in Montana and still run a business in California. 1200 miles away. I don't know if I just mentioned that or not. And so I figured if I can do that, I can probably help you spend more time with family, do those things in life that you want to do and still be in the greatest trade of all. Yep. Plumbers, HVAC. I'm sorry if you're tuning in, but electricians are the best hands down. All right. Well, what are we talking about today? You guys, I'm not wasting your time at all. I'm going to talk about something that really just pissed me off this week. And I don't get pissed off very often. I'm a very calm guy. I'm very calm, cool, collective because I'm blessed, as I said. And I feel like life is too short to be pissed off about the little things. But you know what? I want to kick myself in the rear. And if you were here, I'd, kick, I'd have you kick me as well. I'm building a house here in Montana. I don't know if you've seen some of the videos, but I've been on my build and we're almost done. We're a few months out and I did the unthinkable. I did not practice what I preach. I'm going to be honest with you. I've told you that before. You've seen a couple of videos where I'm not practicing what I preach. Guys, I hired someone to work on my house for time and material and it's a disaster. Oh my gosh, if you're a contractor right now in 2023 and you want to be a successful contractor and keep your clients and get referrals, stop charging for time and material. I can't believe I did it, but I did it. I'm stuck. Tomorrow's the last day. I'm done. Hey, great guy. Don't get me wrong. Love the guy to death. Hate the fact that I hired him time and material. Okay. So that's what we're talking about here. Are you going to hire for time? Are you going to work? Sorry, for time and material? Because I know a lot of you guys out there that are listening right now, don't lie to yourselves and don't lie to me. You're working time and material because of a couple of reasons. Number one, you're scared. You're scared. You don't know if you're bidding correctly. You don't know if you're going to lose money. You don't know how you're going to get into this job and if you're going to make money. So you're scared and you figure if I charge time and material, I can't lose. Well, you might not lose on the job, but I promise you, you're going to be losing clients. You're going to be losing future business and we'll get into that. Secondly, you're charging time and material because it's easy. You don't have to do any work. You put the hours in, you charge for the hours. You bought 100 in material, put 20% on it, and you charge for the material. Easy sheezy. What do they say? Nothing that comes easy is actually easy. Eventually, it's going to cost you more because, as I said, I believe you're going to lose clients, okay? So let's talk about it. You ready to dive in? If you are, hey, if you're tuning in on YouTube, on the YouTube podcast channel, which is at, you go to YouTube, type in the search bar, at the 360 Electrician Podcast, and you're going to get this podcast with some video. If you're tuning in on Spotify, Apple Podcast, or Google, welcome. I encourage you to subscribe. I thank you for it. And I'm going to be honest with you. If you're going to get anything out of this podcast, either on YouTube or any of the podcast stations, and you don't subscribe, give me a thumbs up and like, just click off right now. I'm not making any money by giving you this information. The only thing I can get from you is a like or a subscribe, and I appreciate it. The more likes and subscribes I get, the more I'm going to ramble and give you all this knowledge in my brain to God willing help you with my experiences. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not preaching like I know it all. I am not the walking code book. I am not the business guru, but I've got years and years of experience. If you know anything about me and you know, I would love to share it with you. All right, so let's get into it. Some pros and cons, and I do have a video on this that I did a long time ago, but it's fresh in my brain. So I want to talk about it. Let's talk about the cons of time and material, okay? First and foremost, your client does not know what it's going to 
cost him, cost him or her at the end of the job. Why do I use the word cost? I'm a big word user, okay? I like to use the word investment, investment, right? Here's the scenario. If I come into a job and I say, hey, Mr. or Mrs. Smith, uh, I can go ahead and come in and do this project. I charge you $125 per hour plus parts and material plus 20%. Well, the customer, first thing they usually will ask you is, well, how long do you think it's going to take? So hold up, everybody. Right then and there, if you're going to have to answer that question, it's going to tie you into a time frame. Okay? So what happens? You start the job and you go and you go and you go and you're a new business owner, right? And the phone rings or you get a text message. And what do you do? The guy happens to be home. He's watching you outside the, the living room window, putting in his porch electrical on time and material. And every 15 minutes, 20 minutes, three hours, four hours, you're getting another business call because you're fresh. You got that Angie's List call coming, right? You got that Yelp call coming, right? You got to pick that sucker up or you're going to lose that call. Well, every time you pick up the phone or do that, the client, because I know that's what I've been doing. That's why I can't believe I hired someone, right? Now I'm looking at this guy going, this guy better hurry up. He's taking a cigarette break. Or he just take the phone call. He just took another phone call. Where the hell is he from lunch? How much is this guy charging me? How much did he, how much, how many hours did he work today? Do you see what's happening? Your customers are going to freak out 90% of them. Okay. You know it. And I know it. I've been there. I've done that. I'm in it right now. So this is a con. What's the con about it? The con is you can't just do what you want to do. You don't have the freedom to take up those business calls that you can't afford to lose. You can't afford to go out to the truck, get your clipboard or your notepad or your laptop and send out an email to either your other guys or your estimate for that job because the other client said, if I don't get the estimate today, you can't get the job. So now you're taking a break from this guy's job that you're on time and material and you're out doing other business. It's not fair to the client. What's going to end up happening is no matter how much he smiles or she smiles, no matter how much they thank you, they will never call you back if they don't have to. They don't like you because they feel like they got ripped off. Now, there's some ways to save that. You could say at the end of the job, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, we did the job. Hey, I'm in it for, for 27 hours, but I'm going to go ahead and credit you for three hours because I was on the phone and I had some other things that I had to do. And I don't think that's fair to build you for those three hours. Sure. That'll make up for it, but it's not going to be good as charging a fixed contract price. And that is the way you should be pricing in 2023. If you're toning in from California, don't quote me because I keep saying I'm going to look it up, but I'm pretty darn sure that it is illegal now for you to charge time and material to residential customers. You must give them a fixed contract price. Now that's California. I know it's probably not anywhere else. And again, check me, go to the contractor state license board and check it, but I'm pretty sure that's the way it is now. I don't care because in my brick and mortar, we only charged fixed contract pricing and that's it for everything, okay? The benefits of fixed contract pricing. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I went ahead and listened to the words that I'm using, okay? And a lot of you don't comment. Don't comment and say, oh, you're BSing, you're full of this, and you're, you're just a salesman. Dude, I am in business to make money, okay? And if I can make money, Listen, that's not the only thing though. I should be careful when I say money, like it's the most important thing. No, my clients are the most important thing. So making money probably comes secondary to keeping my client happy because you're not gonna make any money eventually if you don't have happy clients. So money is the important part, meaning I wanna be in the black, okay? I'm not talking about, oh, I better make that money and start ripping people off because we don't do that. I'll charge you the same if you make $1,000 a year income or $100,000 income. You've seen my videos where I'm working in multi, multi-million dollar mansions and sometimes I'm working at Joe Blow's house in his trailer. I started in a trailer, right? Double wide, baby. If you're with me, like, hit that subscribe. No, I'm just kidding. But listen, I did start in a double wide. I don't charge differently when I see a Ferrari in the driveway or if I see a Hyundai in the driveway. I'm in business. My business is modeled almost like a McDonald's. What do I mean by that? When you go to get a Big Mac from this McDonald's, it's $5.78. I don't know what it is, but I'm just saying. When you go to a McDon another McDonald's, it might vary by five or 10 cents because it's the city and the state and tax, but you're not getting a $7 Big Mac, right? And then you go out of state even to a different state and it's not like it's a $12 Big Mac. I want to stay consistent, okay? Consistency is super important. And therefore, when I charge a fixed contract price, it's based on my daily labor rates. 
So then when I go into a client and say, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I can go ahead and do this kitchen remodel. It'll, it'll take a couple of days. I don't tell them time and material. I don't want to take them. It'll, I don't want to tell them it takes one day. I don't want to tell them it takes three days because then I'm putting myself again into that loophole, right? I'm putting myself into a corner where I have to perform in a certain time frame. I said, this is a multi-day project and your total investment is going to be $3,980. Guys, I took my daily labor rate times two and a half days. I'm taking my material, not plus 20, but plus a dollar amount. If it's $700 in material, I'm rounding it up to $1,000. That's more than 20%. That might be 40%. I don't know. I'm not doing the math in my brain right now. I'm giving a fixed contract price. And now guess what? I know that this is a two and a half day job because I have the experience to know that. And the customer knows that at the end of the job, it's going to be a $3,890 project. Done deal. Now I can call it an investment because it's a fixed amount. And it sounds better than saying, hey, you're going to have to pay me or it's going to cost you or any of those bad words. And I say, it's a fixed contract price. Your total investment is going to be $3,890. We're going to go ahead and do this and do that and do that. Tell them everything that you're going to do. I'm going to give you a one-year full parts labor warranty. If anything goes wrong, I don't care if it's a manufacturer's fault. I'm going to take care of it for you in the first year. If you go ahead and okay my paperwork, we can get started for you right away. These are sales techniques. The way you want to go is fixed contract pricing. You know what you're getting paid at the end of the job. They know what they're going to pay at the end of the job. They're super happy and they're ready to refer you. How are they going to refer you? Yeah, here it is again. You're going to do my marketing course at www.the360electrician.com and you're going to make three clients into nine. You're going to make nine into 27 and so on and so forth. Okay, fixed contract pricing is the way to go. How do you get your fixed contract price? How do you know your daily labor rate? Well, there's five line items I teach you in coaching. Again, you can sign up for coaching at the website too, www.the360electrician.com. You're going to get your five basic costs and you're going to repeat one. Every single thing to run your business is included in that five line items that I want to teach you. Okay. That includes if you have payroll, that includes your workman's comp, that includes your insurance, that includes your attrition. Do you know what attrition is in electrical contracting? Here's the biggest problem I found when people coach. You know what, Jeff? I'm just not making money, any money and I don't understand. Well, how much do you charge an hour? I charge $95 an hour. I go, great. Why do you think you're, you're, you're losing money? I don't know. He goes, I just, I just started as a contractor. I've been doing it for five years, but everybody else here charges 95. That's the going rate. Who cares what everybody else's rate is? Is everybody else's overhead and expenses yours? No, they're not. Second thing. Well, I don't know why I'm not making any money because I used to work for $35 an hour and I'm charging 95 on my own and I can't make it. Hell yeah, you can't make it because after I go over the five step line items, we repeat the one, so the sixth, you find out that you should be charging 120 an hour and you realize this whole time you've been working for free because in my system of pricing, my five line items, right? The only two suckers in there are your business and you as the owner. Everybody else has to get paid or you can't have a business. The only people, the only entity's pockets or the person's pockets you can take money out of when, you, when you're losing $20 an hour is either you, the owner, or you, your business. Okay. I want to teach you all that. So I, want, I encourage you, if you're an electrical contractor and you're not making a ton of money and you need help, or you're an electrician and you're going to get into trade and, you're, and you don't know what to do, get coaching. I'm going to teach you all of that stuff. Okay. So listen, I've wrapped it up. I mean, I told you my experience. That's what this podcast was about. I, don't, I, I, I didn't get into too much detail. I'm not going to go past the 15-minute mark on this one. But listen, in 2023, you need to start charging fixed contract pricing. Go to YouTube and type in fixed contract pricing versus hourly. Start educating yourself for it. And when you want to tie it into the electrical contractor trade, you know, you, you might hear it from a plumber or HVAC, but it's different from an electrician. And, and you want to know about the, the two or three reasons. There's actually four reasons why someone's going to say no to you. Let's just say you give them a fixed contract price. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, uh, your total is 3890 And they say no. It's one of four reasons they're going to say no to you. And I want to teach you those four reasons, okay? Maybe we'll talk in another podcast. That's it for now. I hope you subscribe. I hope you got something out of this podcast. And we will see you on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and we will see you here on the next one. Take care and God bless.